This is your boy Corey. Welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Hopeless Nomadic. This is my first YouTube video. This is very new for me. Um, this is not something I really prepare for like that. Uh, the whole purpose of this channel is really just a diary for myself. Um, if I get people along my road and my journey, you know, that relate, that can relate to what I'm going through or have been through what I've been through, um, or even thinking about, you know, taking a similar type of road, uh, this is for something like that, you know, um, um, if you see me looking over to the right, it's just my notes, my board, I got my, uh, my talking points just to keep me on topic because I will rant and get off topic and, you know, do, <laughs> do a bunch of stuff like that. So, you know, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, not really a big talker, but you know, this is my form of therapy. So the purpose of this channel, like I said, was just a, a, a diary for me. Um, just a, a, a record to go back and look at where I started and where I'm coming from to where I'm about to, where I'm going to end up. That leads me to the nomad life. Uh, I have not been able to wake up and not think about this nomad life. Ever since I came across Timothy Ward and No Camp Fan, ever since I came across them, it's all I can think about. And they've literally inspired me to to make this decision, to take this to take take this leap, you know, and um and that's and that's what brings me to this point right now. So watching Timothy Ward's videos led me to applying to my first seasonal job. Um, I applied probably four months ago, and I got a, I got a call back literally like a month later after I applied, I applied to one job. I didn't apply to multiple. I was just like, let me just see if they'll, you know, if I can even get a job, you know, let me, that's, that was really what I was just doing. I was like, let me just see. Uh, you never know. Let me just see. So I applied to a job as for a ski lift operator at Granby ranch in Granby, Colorado. I applied completely forgot about it. A month goes by, I get an email. Hey, we see that okay, we, we want to do a phone interview. I'm like, what? Oh, that's so I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, you can call me tomorrow, get my number. They call me the next day. Gave me the interview. Pretty much they just gave me the job. I did all the paperwork, did the you know, the uh, the background checks and, and the driver's uh driver record check and all that. Got the job. I start December 5th. Today is November the 7th. So a little less than a month I start. I booked my ticket. I'm taking a train. Winter coat, some winter boots. Some long uh, some long johns, you know, because I know it's gonna be we're in the middle of the winter, so it's gonna be I mean the peak of the winter, so it's gonna be snowing like crazy. Um and I'm 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 nervous. I I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get there and I'm just not going to fit into what they got going on, you know what I'm saying? I, that's what I'm, a, I'm afraid of. But I'm not going to let fear, I'm not going to let that fear stop me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let that fear hold me back. I'm going to make it happen. And, you know, and that's just what it is. I'm, 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 I'm ready to go. I'm so anxious to go and get there and get started and to find out that I'm actually going to be in love with this job. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I really have a feeling that I'm going to get there and I'm going to love it too much. I'm going to love it too much and I'm going to want to live there. That's not a bad thing, but, you know. But, you know, the whole point of me doing this seasonal work thing, it's not... 
It's not for the money. I mean, the money is 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 good. Like I said, I'm going to so I'm leaving December 5th. December 1st, I have to move out of my house. November 7th, I have to get everything in my, in this house and I have to get out by December 1st. Drop all my stuff in storage and then drive from Southern California to Utah and catch a train from Utah to Granby. This is all on me. Nobody in my family went to the military. My decision, I broke that curve. I broke that cycle of going to high school, going to college, gra graduating from college, going to work at a, at a fucking nine to five and be fucking clocked in, clocked out, slave, slave people, man. Everybody did that but me. I'm not going to, man. I did it for a little bit. I'm not going to say I never worked a job. I worked in 95 before. Don't get me twisted. I did what I had to do. But I'm going to travel. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. If I want to wake up and go to fucking Florida tomorrow, I'm going to fucking wake up and drive my ass to Florida. Like, that's how I want to live. I don't, I'm going to take y'all throughout my journey. Uh, like I said, it's November 7th today. Um, I leave December 2nd because I have to get there. I'm going to get there a day early so I can check in um, and all that, get situated and check out the play, the area before I start work that following Monday. So I'm going to get there on that Saturday. Give me the end of Saturday. Sunday. Go to work that Monday. I'm going to keep y'all updated. It's going to be a physical trans transformation, workout journey, life journey, spiritual journey, seasonal work journey, this nomadic journey. We starting it off. I appreciate y'all, everybody that checked us out. Um, make sure y'all like and subscribe and follow. seasonal job in Grammy, Colorado. I decided to take the more scenic route and catch the train, the California Zephyr Amtrak. I thought I would catch the train. I thought oh, I can do it, you know, but boy, oh boy, am I in for a rude awakening. Freezing cold, man. I'm not used to this. Mind you, I come from coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's cold, but it ain't cold like this, man. It's a different type of cold, man. I caught the bus from Las Vegas, Nevada to St. George, Utah. For it's a two-hour ride. And I caught another bus from St. George, Utah to Provo, Utah. Four hours and twenty minute ride. 4.35 a.m. We got here last night at 9.20 p.m. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of a layover. I, uh, so, instead of staying, waiting seven hours at the train station with no heat, uh, I went and got me a hotel last night for about five or six hours. Got up about 3.30 came up here, waited my train at 435, and it is currently 620, and my train 
is almost two hours delayed, which is horrible because it's freezing cold. And like I said, there is no heat. So I've been out here freezing my ass off, man. But I'm not the only one. This is great. So uh, we are still waiting for the train, which is why I keep looking for it. This is supposed to be here now, even with the delay. And it's still not here. What a surprise. <laughs> so, just thought I'd flick on this camera, let you guys know what's going on. I'm supposed to be arriving in Granby at 3.52 p.m. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be there around that time. Hopefully, the shuttle that's supposed to be picking me up will understand this major inconvenience because if not I don't believe there's any lifts or anything up the mountain so it's gonna, it's gonna be difficult um, hopefully this train shows up soon can't feel my toes I, my dumb mass chose to not wear all my snow gear thinking oh I'll be able to handle it until I get to my until I get to my uh, my house or my housing and uh, yeah boy was that a bad plan I even last night at the hotel I was like nah, I can do it the train not gonna be late I I'm sure no look at me almost two hours out here in the cold See? we are Man, we're not the only ones. There's a lot of people up here, but I think they were smart enough to check their apps and uh, find out about the delay. Once I get on board the train, hopefully in some time this morning, sometime early this morning, we'll see. Hopefully, man. So, we'll rock with y'all, man.
Cafe, Java Lounge, Java Lounge Cafe. This is amazing, man. I'm so blessed and so fortunate to be here to experience this. I know we got a long time ahead, but this is gonna be amazing. So, yeah. As you can see, conditions are beautiful. This is amazing. The fact that I get to wake up to this every morning. This is, I can't even explain the feeling. Thank you. 